Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to look at the new round of Magnum 32 billion model, which is not only claiming to be equivalent in prose to Anthropic's celebrated model plot, but also even exceeding it in some of the benchmarks. So we are going to install it locally and then we will play around with it. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. For the purpose of this video, I am using NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48GB VRAM. It's a big model, 32 billion parameters, so I am going to go with a quantized version and even when I am trying to load the quantized version at Q4KM level, it is going to be big, huge. But before I show you all of that, few words on this model's quality. So this is the second in a series of models designed to replicate the pros quality of Claude 3 model, specifically Sonnet and Opus. We already have covered the previous versions of Magnum and they were quite good. So we will be testing out the pros in various benchmarks. So this particular model, the Magnum 32 billion, is a fine tuned on top of UN 1.232 billion. This has been instruct tuned with JATML and it has gone under extensive training because three new general purpose instruction following data sets were added on top of the original Estino data set, which had certain low quality entries purged and removed. The first two were designed specifically for the Magnum series to better address prompt adherence and coherence and both of these qualities we are going to check out in our testing. So the three data sets which have been used extensively are Opus Instruct 25K, Opus Writing Struct and Sonnet 3.5 Slim Orca Dedupe Cleaned. This model is produced by the team at Anthracite and the training was done for two epochs with a learning rate of 1E05 and they used 8 NVIDIA H100 Tensor Core GPUs for the full parameter file tuning of the model. And there is a few other details on the model card and I will drop the link to it in video description so that you can also read through it. And now let me take you to my LM Studio which is a tool which I am going to use. Let me make the screen a bit bigger so that you can also check out. So you see, when we launch LM Studio, there is a home page, just type Magnum 32 billion in the text field, press enter, and you will see that few people already have done the quantized of it. I'm going to go with the quantization done by Anthracite itself. On the right hand side, I already have downloaded Q4K, which still is around 20 gig of size. So if I click on this folder icon, you will see that the file is there and now let's click on these three dots and then select the model to load and I'm just going to delete this existing chat which I did earlier. Let's wait for the model to load and then we will try to offload all of it onto the GPU and you can keep an eye on the resource usage on the top left around 82% of CPU is already used anyway. So first up let's select this chat ML prompt preset and then make it a bit bigger because I want to offload all the layers to GPU so all the layers are already to GPU which is good so we are all set and now let's try to chat with this model so as I said earlier what I'm going to do here I'm going to test it out on various benchmarks so first up I'm going to check it out for coherence and fluency so the first prompt I'm asking it describe a typical day in a small coastal town. So let me run it. Let's wait for it to finish. And look at this response of the model. It is just flowing with coherence. So it is saying that a typical summer day in a quaint coast, coastal town would likely unfold as follows. Look at the prose. It just oozes out quality even in the first sentence. The sun rises early, peeking over the horizon and casting a warm glow across the calm ocean waters. Fishing boats can be seen out on the water, their nets lowered to catch the morning's bounty. As the town slowly stays awake, the aroma of freshly brewed coffee wafts from the local diner, 
where fishermen gather for breakfast. By mid morning, beach goers begin to arrive, spreading out colorful towels on the warm sand and diving into the refreshing ocean waves. The town square comes alive as shops open their doors. In the afternoon heat, people seek refuge in the shady park where families picnic on blankets spread under large oak trees. As the evening approaches, fishermen return to the shore with their catches, unloading crates full of freshly caught fish. The day ends with a spectacular sunset. The picturesque coastal town transforms into a lively hub of activity during the summer months. Amazing, amazing prose. Okay, let's try out another one. In this one, I am asking it, I write a short story about a character who discovers a hidden talent. Now, before I run it, sometime what happens is when uh, a model prints out such a large and uh, amazing response, it fills out the context length and sometimes the LM Studio just starts, started, starts hallucinating on the next one. So I'm just going to run it. If it hallucinates, I'll just uh, delete the chat from here and then I'll reload it. Anyway, let's try it out. Wow, it is working. So let's wait for it to finish. Okay, so the next one was write a short story about a character who discovers a hidden talent. And the character is Sarah. Sarah had always considered herself an average person with no particular talent or skills. She worked a mundane office job, spent her evenings watching TV and rarely ventured outside of her comfort zone. One summer day, Sarah decided to take a pottery class at the local community center on a whim. As she sat down at the potter's wheel for the first time, something unexpected happened. She fell in love with the medium. As the instructor demonstrated techniques, Sarah found it herself easily falling along. So she found the talent and there you go. Look at the amazing stuff. Okay, let's check out the tone and style. I'm asking it. Write a humorous essay on the struggles of learning a new language. Let's wait. Again, simply mind-blowing response. Learning a uh, new language, a journey filled with laughter, frustration, and occasional embarrassment for those brave souls who embark upon this quest prepared to be humiliated in front of native speakers, mispronounce words so badly that even Google Translate would cringe. Well, that happens to me every day in during the videos. Take for example the time I decided to impress my French speaking colleagues by attempting to order coffee at a local cafe. With great confidence I approached the counter and confidently announced. The barrister looked at me with a puzzled expression before responding in a rapid fire French that sounded like a machine gun. I'm embarrassed I mumbled something about needing to go to back to my desk. Amazing stuff you see how good is that? How good is that? Okay let's try out another one. Now I'm just trying to see how its summary works, so I'm asking it to summarize a complex scientific concept like black holes or gene editing. Let's wait for it. And there you go, it has summarized black holes and amazingly, you know, sublime response. Black holes are one of the most fascinating and mysterious phenomena in the universe. Simply put, they are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it once it crosses a boundary called the event horizon. Amazing, amazing stuff. Well, I could go on and on, but this response is simply out of this world. Okay, let's try out one last one. So this one it is testing emotional resonance. So I'm asking it write a heartfelt apology letter from a parent to their child. Let's see. Let's wait for it. Okay, so look at this one, the apology letter that I am writing this letter with a heavy heart, full of remorse and regret for my past actions that have caused you pain and suffering as your parent. It is my duty and responsibility to love, nurture and protect. I want to sincerely apologize for some incidents or amazing stuff, awesome, which were wrong and hurtful. In hindsight, I realized the impact they had on you and how much anguish they must have caused. Look at the selection of the words. Please know that my love for you is unconditional and unwavering, even if at times it was overshadowed by my own flaws and failings as a parent. I hope in time you can find it in your heart to forgive me. I am committed to making amends, improving myself. Once again, I apologize from the bottom of my heart for um, failing you. In the past, you are cherished beyond measures. 
आई एम डीपली सॉरी फॉर एनी पेन और हार्डशिप हाउ गुड इज दैट विद ऑल माई लव अमेजिंग अमेजिंग स्टफ एंड टूवर्ड्स द वेरी एंड लेट सी इफ इट कैन राइट द सॉन्ग सो आई एम आस्किंग इट राइट मी अ लव सॉन्ग इन द स्टाइल ऑफ सिल इन दी ऑन माई हार्ट विल गो ऑन लेट सी so it has perfectly composed the lyrics of the song that every night i dream of you my love i bond that strong enough to move across the miles and through the years our hearts entwined without any fears my heart it goes on forever yours an everlasting flame and then you see there is outro there my heart my soul my everything you're all that i can ever say of endless love amazing amazing prose so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it as much as i did really amazing model really like it i think it's a mid range but a win range 32 billion size perfect size if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching